Good morning, Fort McMurray, Wood Buffalo, and the rest of the world. You tuned in to the Max City Morning Show. I am your host, Elliot Pierre, and we're going to start the show off the same way we start every episode off, with a moment of gratitude. I know you could be doing a million things with your time, so the fact that you spend with us truly does mean the world to me, so thank you. On that note, Tanner, hit him with the intro. How's she caught me, loves? You're listening to the Max City Morning Show. All right, we're back. I'm very excited about our guests today. I know nothing about them, but I think what they're doing is pretty cool, and I can't wait to ask tons of questions. So, and I got a t-shirt, so that's always nice. (laughs) As you guys know, I don't introduce my guests. I let them do that themselves. So uh, can you please tell everybody at home who you are and what you're about? My name is Helen Kalorn, and I am the owner and studio director at Exhale Yoga and Bar. Okay. Now, when you said bar, Mm -hmm. I know Tanner got excited, (laughs) and I got excited, so... I know nothing about yoga per se, other mm. from, I think, what most people would perceive it as, as we see on television. And when, we, when you put the bar at the, at the end of the word, like, what does that mean? Well, it's our two specialties. So bar is actually spelled B-A-R-R-E. Okay. Um, so for some folks, they might know what that means, but for others, mostly not. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it is based around a ballet bar, um, okay. but it's not a ballet class, but it's kind of like dance conditioning. Okay. Um, so we implement elements of yoga, Pilates, strength training, stretching, um, and some cardio as okay. well. There's different styles of bar. Some use a ballet bar for balance. Um, mm. Others just do strictly on the mat. Uh, right. So it depends on what you're looking for. Okay. But um, basically, in my opinion, I think bar is a great complement to yoga. So it really enhances your yoga practice. So those are our two main specialties, um, yoga okay. and bar, but we yeah. also offer Pilates and fitness and meditation too. So. Okay, sweet. That makes sense though. Like mm-hmm. the bar component, like, mm-hmm. cause I know a lot of athletes and you hear about it on media from back in the day as well, who started doing yoga because it helped them in whatever sport. If you're a goalie, if you're a hockey, if you're a tennis player, like this is all it's your body. This is conditioning training. That's right. You. So if you're a dancer, that would make complete sense. Yeah. And well, for me, too much of one thing is not good, right? Mm-hmm. So you need that balance. There always has to be that cross training, right? You can't have right. too much stretching. You can't have too much strengthening. You have to have a good balance of both. Yeah, right? that's yeah. exactly it. So Tanner's going to hate this part of the programming because it's meditation based. <laughs> he's sick of me talking about it. We meditate differently, me and you, Elliot. That's right. So I meditate, I try to every day. It doesn't always work. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. But I do it personally. I like, I have an, a, the Calm app is what I use. Mm-hmm. And it's awesome. I love doing it. And it's been a tremendous game changer for me personally. I've never understood, and I've never looked into it, how you would do meditation in a group setting versus like, I, I think I would really struggle just based mm. on like, turning everything off. Like, how does that, how does that work? Yeah. A a lot of people struggle to be honest. Um, but the people who don't want to do it or who struggle the most need it the most. That's right. No doubt. Um, it is just simply guided, guided meditation, right? So, um, some will close their eyes, some will just soften gaze, but it's Mm. focusing on what the instructor is saying and then implementing that into your body. Same as what you do listening to an app. Just instead you're in a group setting. Um, It is a little more challenging, obviously. It would be way more challenging. People are all around you. You know, things are happening, but um, like anything, it's practice. That's right. Practice, practice, practice. And there's different kinds of meditation too, right? I mean, I find even the more energetic classes are like a moving meditation. You start to really tune in with how your breath is moving with your body. And that can be a very meditative thing as well. Right. So, you know, meditation is different for everyone. Yeah. I think it would be like really, really challenging Mm -hmm. in regards to it's hard enough to turn off your brain and the distractions of like, even in a quiet room, like you hear the fan kick in or you hear something and you're gone. Yeah. And our natural human like instinct is to just listen to everything that's happening and our brains are just constantly going. So yeah. So kind meditation of with that somebody off. there, yeah, that would be like hardcore. Like I, like I'm, I don't feel I'd be there because I'd be distracted of like, oh, I can hear somebody else breathing. Is somebody looking at me? Mm-hmm. Like I'd be self conscious about like, what do I look like right now? Like it would be right, and that's what we're trying to get yeah. out of your head, right? So, but for some people, they thrive on like they thrive on being in the group setting. Right, they can't meditate at home. They have a really hard time, yeah. um, doing it on their own, even with apps. So they have to come to the group setting. Because they like having um, that energy, right? Mm-hmm. The energy yeah. of everyone else around you meditating is like 
Right. Way different. Than I would imagine it, it would be. Yeah. I'm going to come and try it. It's Yeah. Well, I gave you a free class. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. I think a great way to kind of start it is we have a great class called um, Candlelit Restorative and Meditation. Okay. So about 75% of the class is moving through more like restorative postures. So you do get that bit of movement. And then right. at the end, it's just a short guided meditation. So it's okay. a nice little kind of intro to meditation, mostly okay. working around like breath work, right? Right. Working with the breath. Yeah. Okay. So how did you get into this? Okay. Well, yeah. great question. Long story, you're, you're, you're the owner. I am the owner. And yeah. So there's a progression. There's from here huge, to there. huge progression. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's been in my mind for a long time. And to be honest, I never, you can hear my East coast accent there. Never, <laughs> I never expected that it would be here in Fort McMurray, to be honest. Um, I come from PEI, small town PEI, and, uh, I always envisioned my studio being there. Okay. Um, moved here five years ago, uh, implemented myself into the community. I've been teaching now since 2013, teaching yoga. Okay. Since 2013 and uh, taught at multiple studios um, across the country. Okay. And uh, after teaching here for a few years, I just felt like there was something missing. Mm. Um, there was something missing for me and conversations with others. We were just lacking that kind of real yoga community. Um, right. Not to say there weren't great yoga classes in town, um, right. but a real yoga community is very different. Uh, it has a very different vibe. Um, and so I'd just finished leading a yoga retreat in Costa Rica. And as I was like guiding um, my students through kind of their own work, their own, you know, self-discovery, mm -hmm. uh, I was doing my own work at the same time. And I came back and, and sat with my husband and I said, uh, I need to open a yoga studio. Okay. And he was like, okay, what can we do? Yeah. And then I sat down with a couple of my best friends and I said, here's my vision. What do you think? And, and they said like, we're on board. What do you need? Yeah. And that was in November of 2019. Okay. And by January 1st, I had signed my lease. Right. And by February 1st, we had started construction. That's right. And then by March, we were paused. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was a little bit crazy, but once the wheels were in motion, like I totally believe in manifestation. I believe in like, if you see it, it'll happen. No doubt. And the, everything just like fell into place. Right. Mm -hmm. Where, where are you located? We're right downtown. So we are in the same building as Mr. Mike's, which is directly across oh, yeah. from the bowling alley. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we're right across from the bowling alley up on the second level. So we're kind of this like cool lofty feel. We've nice. got nice big windows nice. and yeah, nice, clean, big open space. And, right. Mm -hmm. What brought you to Fort McMurray? You've been here for five years. I've been here for five years, so. uh, but my husband has lived here for almost 16 years. Okay. And so he used to fly in and out um, right. back to PEI and, yeah. and then he started his own business. Yeah. And for a while there, we were making it work. But as he got busier, he was home less and less and less. And That's right. So I said, well, let's see it. <laughs> yeah. I said, you know what? Aislinn and I, Aislinn's our daughter. I was like, well, we'll come and try it for six months. That's right. See how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> here we later. are. Yeah, two businesses. And, yeah. And she's totally integrated in the community too. That's it's awesome. great. Mm -hmm. What part of PEI? Charlottetown. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. I love Charlottetown. Me too. Have you been? Uh-huh. I've been there many times. Oh. I've been there many times. It's like... Yeah. Oh, I, everything. I mean, I love when friends come to visit me mm -hmm. and I can just take them to all of my favorite places. Like the food yeah. is incredible. The scenery is incredible. The the art scene, even like the Crazy. art scene is incredible. Yeah. I mean, it's incredible a lot. P yeah, it's incredible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. But yeah, I yeah. mean, there's way more than, than people expect. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And even when you leave uh, Charlottetown, like uh, there's an I don't want to call it little. I think it might be second place, but Summerside. Oh yeah, Summerside. Like, yeah, Summerside. I've like done. Really I've done. Fun uh, and cool and quaint to hang. I've out done in. theater in Summerside. Nice. Yeah. And I stayed in. Um, I don't know what they're called, like army barracks mm -hmm. out there. Yeah. Like by like Slim and Park. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I used to be a recruiter, <laughs> and I couldn't get a hotel, and I like I saw this op opportunity, so I was like to my uh, coworker, I'm like, hey, we're gonna stay with a bunch of soldiers for yeah. a week. It's going to be fun, I guess. And it was a great time. Yeah. So yeah, PIs. Oh yeah, look, I have my yeah. PI necklace on. Oh, there you go. Yeah, Very yeah. nice. Yeah. So you came here, you come from PI, mm -hmm. but to get trained in yoga, mm -hmm. I'm assuming like anything else, like you have to go to like institutes or people. Yeah, there's different so, ways. I mean, so how did you get so your I, I did a, I did a lot of research because there's many places that offer trainings. Right. Um, I wanted to like fully immerse myself in my training. Um, mm. cause you know, you can, you can do weekend trainings where you do it over a course of like six months or so right. and become a 200 hour certified instructor. So you want, you need 200 hours of training to officially start teaching. And then there's right. 
more training after that. That's right. But for my first 200 hours, I wanted to just like completely immerse myself in it. I knew I wanted to travel because mm-hmm. I love traveling. Right. And uh, anyway, I, I connected really well with this incredible human named Angela Boltz. And uh, she was exactly what I was looking for in a teacher. Okay. And she was offering a 200 hour over a course of four weeks in Costa Rica. Mm. At like an eco lodge. Right. Cool. <laughs> I was like, yes, yeah, sign me up. Yeah, yeah. And so actually my best friend and I went and did it together. And, and I, I received my first 200 hours there. Okay. And since then I've done like thousands of hours of training and teaching and learning. Right. And because as a teacher, you're always a student as well. Right. It's never mastered. There's always yeah. more to learn. There's always more growth. So, but that was my first, my first training. Okay. Mm-hmm. And now with yoga and I don't know much about it. Uh, that's why I'm, I'm asking questions. Yep. It's not just all about like just flexibility and posing. Like you've already mentioned, like there's a breathing aspect to it. There's like a cultural and mental aspect mm-hmm. to it. So when people are coming to your facility, um, it's not just you, you have other instructors. So like what is kind of generic overall vibe of the yoga studio that you hope to kind of get out there? That there is something for everyone. Okay. Um, I think one of the, biggest disappointments in the yoga culture these days is social media. Mm. Um, There is such, mm, I don't even know what the word would be, but there's there's this, there's so much information and there is this like stigma around yoga that is only for like skinny white girls (laughs) to be honest. And that is like far beyond of why yoga was, created and actually the craziest thing is that yoga was invented Mm -hmm. for men in India like it was all strictly men in India and since it moved to the um, western culture yeah uh, it's really become you know soccer moms this is it but it's not and that's and that is what we were missing here right so Mm -hmm. it's my hope that you know if you look at our social media or if you come to our studio or anything to do with exhale Mm -hmm you will see a place for you. Right. No matter if you're um, he, her, them, if you are um, senior, young, middle-aged, if you are working with a disability, if you are just, uh, yeah. black, white, brown, anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. we are trying to create and cultivate this atmosphere that you walk in our doors And you feel like you're welcome. Right. And you feel like you're home. Right. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Okay. Well, listen, this is a good segue. Tanner just gave me the sign that he's ready with the Max City Minute. He's going to ask you some questions. Cool. I don't know what they are. I wish you nothing but the best of luck. Thank you. Tanner, get it with the Max City Minute. (laughs) All righty. Question number one. What is a service you provide that you enjoy utilizing the most? Oh, the service that I provide that I enjoy utilizing the most. Um... Uh, probably. Oh my gosh, that's a really hard question. (laughs) Wow, what a question. My heart's like racing right now. (laughs) Um, I have that effect on people. (laughs) Service. Oh, my Lanta. Um, the sense of community. I think that's a service. Finding community. Yeah, our sense of community is such an important service that we provide. Question number two, what is one thing you've learned about yourself from your experience with your business? Oh, I have so much more potential than I ever believed in myself. Question number three, what is the most rewarding part of running your business within Fort McMurray for you? Giving back to the community as much as possible. Question number four, what is one service that you provide that you think any kind of person could enjoy? Yoga. And your final question, what is one thing you could recommend to people to do to be more mindful towards themselves? Oh, really focus on your self-care. That's so important. Self-care can look like so many things, but it doesn't have to be yoga. It doesn't have to be fitness, but whatever your self-care is, find it. And those have been your five questions. Okay. So your studio, hours of operation? Uh, Very. Okay. Yeah. um, Depends. We're always... We're always open for classes, obviously, our, right. our class schedule. Um, but when it comes to um, open for like retail and, and customers, there's different hours, but you can find it on the website or um, Google. Yeah. Okay. Facebook. Okay. And um, in regards to 
signing up or paying? Like, is it a subscription based model? Do you just drop in? Like, right. So how does that all that? We work? have so many different options. Okay. Um, we do have drop-ins. I think that the best way to try the studio out is our intro offer. Okay. Um, it's $59 for 21 days of unlimited classes. So you get to try out as okay. many classes as you like for 21 days, right. see what you like, maybe what you don't like, what you vibe with, what you don't vibe with. And then also how many classes a week you're able to attend you because right. you never know, right? And That's then right. once that intro offer kind of finishes, then we work with the student to mm -hmm. see what is best bang for your buck, right? Yeah, um, sure. I always try to encourage the monthly unlimited um, because obviously we want our members to, you know, yeah, be with us. Yeah, whenever they want, that's but, right. Uh, so that's $119 a month, and which equals okay. to, if you're coming to at least two classes a week, um, two classes a week would be less than 14 bucks a class. So, yeah, that's yeah. not bad. Mm -hmm. It's not bad at all. But then we also have drop-ins and punch passes and we have a couple's membership and a student membership. So there's tons there's of different, tons of yeah, right? lots of flexible rates. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So how many instructors do you have? We have 13. 13? Yeah. How does that work? Like, um, yeah. How does that work? Yeah. Well, uh, some of our instructors also work full-time jobs. Okay. Right? So they okay. maybe only teach one or two classes a week. Right. And then other instructors will teach more than that. Um, right. We have different instructors who are certified in different things. Mm. So we have our Pilates certified instructors. We have our fitness certified instructors, our bar instructors, our right. restorative instructors, right? right? So everyone has their own specialty. Okay. So you want the right instructor teaching the right thing, right? right? So it's not just anyone can teach anything. I have a question and uh, the answer may be no or maybe yes. I don't, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's, it's a question. Could some of this be covered through your benefits? hundred percent. Yeah, we have a lot of Glad students who, yeah, we have a lot of students who um, submit their receipts yeah. from their memberships and they get reimbursed. Okay, mm -hmm. well, then that's... It's huge, yeah. That's, that's, that is huge. <laughs> yeah. That's a big cost for things, especially during COVID, you know, is a barrier to entry. Some people just can't afford it. Oh, yeah. If you can utilize something like your benefits that you have and most people don't even... Well, I would like, recommend, like, yeah. people don't even look through what that's right. what is included. And that's so... Right. Not many Very people cool. actually take advantage of that. That's right. Yeah. So I encourage everyone to look at your benefits. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Especially like for like if you're injured or workplace injury and they That's need right. to come and yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. I'm glad I asked that question. Okay. So now when you go for training, because it's fascinating to me, like you said, you did your first bout or your, your long-term stint in Costa Rica mm -hmm. with that. Where and how do you find out about different trainings and where do you go for them? Because they're not offered here. Um, there are a few trainings offered here. Okay. Um, it's just knowing where to look for them, right? Um, but like I find once you are integrated kind of in this community, yeah, you the just yoga learn. Community. Yeah, yeah, sorry, okay. yeah, the yoga community. Yeah. Um, it just everything comes up, right? So right. you 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 meet new instructors, you meet new teachers, you meet new students, and right. everyone's talking about what's happening and sharing right. like what kind of trainings are going on. So that's that's basically how I have found most of mine. Um, right. Teachers that I've had in the past, they will share things with me, and if it's something that piques my interest, You'll go for I'll it. go for it, yeah. Okay. Now with the 14 people that you have on staff, that blows my mind in regards to like my previous career. I used to be in human resources, and recruiting was a big component of that. Mm. And finding individuals is a struggle in most industries. Mm -hmm. So the fact that you have like a number of individuals that are like maybe part-time, full-time, whatever their hours, it's still, it needs to be applauded that you have that <laughs> depth of like I've staff. Been, so how does that happen? I have been so blessed. Um, yeah. I've made, I've made, since moving here, I've made so many wonderful connections with people. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, luckily for me, I haven't had to go searching Okay. It's it's all sort of come, come to, yeah. to me. And right. uh, I mean, Exhale wouldn't be what it is without all of the individuals that surround me. So it's not just me. It's them too who create the atmosphere. Right. And we work together as a team and we're a family and it feels that way too. And right. so I'm ve I feel very fortunate and lucky that I haven't had to struggle to, you know, yeah. we need teachers, we need teachers. And so right. I'm actually able to you know, our studio is based around the fact that we do have these like strong experienced instructors who are able to help you on your journey. You know, it's, it's hard as a, you know, new instructor to do that. Right. So we're yeah. not having to pick up all these brand new instructors. Instead, we offer what we call a community class once a week mm -hmm. um, where new instructors in town um, can start to teach. And these oh, okay. classes are by donation. And right. so the, all of the proceeds go towards a not-for-profit 
here in Fort McMurray. Yeah. Plus it gives a new instructor a chance to start finding their voice, right. start finding their groove, you know, cause there's, I remember being a new instructor and mm. being terrified Yeah. and then yeah. you're just kind of thrown to the wolves and it's like, That's right. but with these community classes, even the students coming know, okay, this teacher's learning. Right. Just learning. Right. So yeah. it, there's no pressure. Right. And right. and we've actually a few of our instructors who are on staff now started by teaching these community classes. Very cool. Mm. That's awesome. Well, listen, unfortunately, time flies. Oh, my gosh. It's and up. So <laughs> you, we've hit our 20 minutes a few like a minute or two ago. Tanner gave me the hit. But before we let you go, everybody gets a shameless shout out or plug. So you got the lights, the cameras, the mic. Have fun. All right. Well, I really hope that uh, you'll all come join us at Exhale Yoga and Bar. Every unlimited membership sold, we will plant a tree in your name. Um, we would love to have you just try any of our yoga, bar, Pilates, fitness, or meditation classes. Um, if you need anything, reach out. I'm always there. I'll, I'll be the one talking to you. <laughs> Okay, before I let you go, and sorry we're running, what do you mean you plant a tree? Like you said that, I was like, what? Me and Tanner mm -hmm. both looked at each other, what does that mean? Yeah, we plant a tree, and with every unlimited membership that we sell. So any okay. one of our members who are on a monthly limited membership, they right. get a tree planted in their name. Cool, yeah. that's awesome. Well, listen, please come back again and again and again. Tell any of your staff or members if they want to come on the show to help promote come on the show. And like, like, like I said, the, the door's always open, the invitation, please come back again. Wicked. Thank you so much, cool. Elliot. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks, Tanner. <laughs> All right, Fort McMurray with Buffalo and the rest of the world. That's been another episode of the Max City Morning Show. Thank you so much for tuning in. It does mean the world to me. I hope you're having a great day and we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. I just died at this. That's another Max City Morning Show done. Talk about quenching your ugly thirst. Yeah.